Welcome back, everyone. Well, our next guest is a one, two, three-time Grammy winner as lead vocalist for Sounds of Blackness. She's performed with artists like Stevie Wonder, Prince, Janet Jackson, Elton John. Should I continue? We will in a little bit. This Friday, she be singing the evolution of music, jazz, blues, and soul. Look. Tribute to the one and only Aretha Franklin. Give it up for my buddy, Jamisia Bennett, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We were, I came out, I said hello, and what was the first thing you asked? I said, where are my biscuits? I know, I, I forgot to bring biscuits. I, I will make up for it. How are you doing? I am doing great. Um, things, are, things are going really well. I bet, you know, uh, talking to performers uh, that have come on since the, the pandemic, what was it like? I'm going a little bit back. What was it like to go back on stage after a time when you weren't in front of an audience? You know what I mean? What was that like for you as a performer? The first time that I went back on stage, I did the grand opening of the Belvedere at the at Kroners. Yeah. So I was the first person to ever grace that stage. And I just can remember the anxiety that everybody had. You know, we were like, okay, we got, the, we, it was masks involved. It was just a whole lot. We, people were still trying, you know, you know, kind of trying COVID, to figure it out. Yeah, COVID chaos, I call it. And, um, and I just remember when we, st when we stood on that stage and we began to sing, you know, it, it was like people, it was like healing. You know, it was just a lot of healing. I think it was just a healing process for everybody. And not to mention not even COVID, but it was so much going on at that time. Oh, absolutely. You know, so it was, it was, it was great. It was an amazing feeling. Tell me about the show. Walk me through the evolution. What is the show like? The evolution of jazz, blues, and soul. Um, I'm gonna be doing, starting from jazz and venturing off into blues and then coming through. Um, that blue looks really good on you, by the way. Look at that blue. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Um, and then going through to soul. So I'm gonna be doing some Ella Fitzgerald and some Peggy Lee, and then, you know, switching over to Coco Taylor and, you know, um, some Sister Rosetta Tharp, um, as well as Aretha and Stevie Wonder and some other artists um, in there. I think it's important to do the roots of music um, so that young people, because I have a lot of young people that follow mm -hmm. me as well, you know, you hear songs now, and I'm like, girl, that's not the song. Thank you. That's that's somebody's yeah. song from 20, 20 years ago. I said that <laughs> I did the review of the Elvis movie. Yes. And I was saying one of my favorite aspects of it is youngins will know who Sister Rosetta Tharp is. Yes. And I was I was standing around young people going, who is that? I'm what? like, that's. Sister she Rosetta. was Elvis before. I mean, she was. There would be no Elvis yep. without Sister Rosetta Tharp. Yes, yeah. I played her at uh, Park Square Theater. Did you? Yeah, I did a. I did about like a two month run. Um, we um, did a show called um, Marie and Rosetta, and I d did that show for about two months. And it was like, the exact same time when she got inducted into the Hall of Fame, thanks to Elvis. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, you, if you young people Google her, there, there would be no Elvis without, without, uh, yes. without her. I mentioned, I mentioned some of the talent that you've, you've been on stage with, and you're smiling. What, I'm just going to give you a few names. I always love to play first impression here. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a random name, okay. and you tell me just what comes right up to the surface, okay. the things that you think of. All right. I'm going to start with my favorite, Patty. Patty is amazing. My mother wrote Right Kind of Lover. So she's brilliant. She did? Yes, my mother wrote that. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did not know that fun fact. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is she, okay, now I'm breaking my own rules. I'm going to ask you a follow-up question about Patty because I want her to, I've interviewed her several times and one time she asked me to get her some drag queen, um, uh, she, she asked me to get her some heels. And I said, she, go, she looked at me and she goes, I know that you know where to find the heels. And I said, I said, I do Patty, I'll get you some heels. I'll get you some pump, pumps, not heels, pumps. She goes, she give me some pumps. pumps. Yeah. I said, she goes, I know you know where to find the pumps. I said, yes. yeah, I'll get you some Patty. Yeah, yeah. She, she calls you out to your, yes. to your childhood. You know, you are not grown when you're around her. No. You know, I'm Jamesia, but she's like, Missy, 
She called, you know. She does? Yeah, she, you know, it's very much so. She'll call, you know, she, Jason, come yeah. here. You That's know, what she, she did. Yeah, I know. She broke. <laughs> she was so mad at her assistant because she broke, she broke her pumps. Uh -huh. And I'm sitting there like just waiting to do the interview. And I'm sitting there and she looked at me. She goes, Jason, she did that. I know. She's Jason. She goes, I know that you know where to find pumps. She goes, so I need you to wrap up this interview and find me some pumps. <laughs> I said, okay, I will. Um, <laughs> Janet. Janet, I, I had, I was blessed to do two of her albums. I did the song, That's the Way Love Goes. Um, I did also What I'll Do for Satisfaction. I did that on that album. And then I did her Decade album. And I was 17 at the time when I did that, when I did her albums. And I was on the phone talking to one of my friends and she walked through in the studio. She was like, who are you talking to? I said, I'm talking to my, I was talking to my friend Terry. He, she goes, let me talk. So she gets on the phone, hello? Talks and she goes, he goes, who is this? This is Janet. She's like, this is not no Janet Jackson. She's like, <laughs> she's like, yes, it is. So she's really down to earth. She's super playful. Um, just, I mean, a, a, an amazing person and brilliant in the studio. Like, really? Her voice, she, I mean, she can hear voices and harmonies that I, that, well, her and Michael can do like six or seven harmonies, yeah. you know, that you can't even find, you know. My last minute with you, I wanna, I wanna go back to you. I wanna start where I, where I, uh, I wanna end where I started. When you think of your career as a whole, do you sometimes, do you, do you allow yourself to take it in? I mean, just the blessings and, and the career that you've had. Yeah, that's a good question. I do, um, I really, really take it in when I see young people um, reacting to me. You know, Jimmy and Terry have left our city. Prince, of course, is gone. Um, so now I'm kind of like the reachable one. Mm -hmm. So I kind of stay open so every day I'm still feeling that. I don't ever want to lose that. Yeah. I want to stay humble for the rest of my life so I can always be approachable. Well, yeah. we are a better community because you're part of it. Thank, so thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. And I'll get you some biscuits, I promise. <laughs> you can see Jimmy's show, The Evolution of Music, Jazz, Blues, and Soul, this Friday, August 12th at the Chanhassen Dinner Theater. Showtime is 8. Head to ChanhassenDT.com for tickets. We'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody. Thanks, sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. Are you hugging? Let me thank you. I love you. Oh, thank you.